Now the big one uh, of the day, well, well the Blue Diamond's worth more, but you've got four runners, great chance in the Oakley Plate with uh, such a great team effort. It's been a marvellous effort by the stable to get four runners in a group one. Um, tell us a bit about the efforts involved. Yeah, look, it's an uh, exciting time. Um, got a couple of the old times in and, and you know, especially people like Rock and Gold we've had from day one and uh, always promised us a lot and uh, as he's got older we've probably worked him out a bit better and um, you know, he's had a nice break going into uh, a group one and then we've probably got our best filly uh, who, who's on the way up and looks really well placed and a couple of grand campaigners and you know, saw the light at, at a, a group winner and a listed winner as a two year old as well and, and the old boy Flambeuzi we've had all this preparation who's probably in, in, his, in his best condition you know, that, that he's had with us. Yeah, well, so we'll just run through them quickly. Flambouche, 57 kilos after Chautauqua came out up to the up to the top weight, but he has won this race before. And I, from memory, I think he did carry a big weight in that race as well. He did carry 58 and a half when he won, um, and drew the outside gate. Um, it was a couple of years ago now, but uh, I, I think the horse has thrived since his last last start, just getting beat at Caulfield. Um, and look, he obviously he enjoys the 1100 there, uh, and he, well, we just can't fold him. and just can't believe how well the horse is going. He, his work Tuesday was the best work he's produced since he's been with us, and um, he's just uh, sound as a bell. The other one uh, from the uh, Hesket Bloodstock contract racing team is uh, sort of like new approach mare. First up, uh, look, she's she's a big odds, but uh, first up, why not have a throw at the stumps? Yeah, look, she deserves a chance. She's a um, Group Two winner and, and and won a Caulfield before as well. She's uh, in, in fine condition. She went to Werribee one day, worked terrific, um, and her trial, trials have been sharp. Uh, one of them all um, just hasn't missed a beat and probably underrated. She's uh, you know she's one of our better horses, but you know you wouldn't know it. And um, she just goes out there and gets the job done. And flying Katie May back from Sydney to, to ride her, and she's got no weight, so you know she's not without a sneak of a chance. We dropped down into the lower weighted runners. Rock and Gold, look, great state success down at uh, Flemington last time out. A step up a couple of grades here, but why not give him a shot? Yeah, definitely. And we did we said that straight after the race. We, uh, let's give him a shot at the stumps. He's, 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 you know, he's, he's been good for us, and uh, you know he's not getting any younger. But we think he's in career best form. Uh, there's always plenty of speed on in, in these races, and that's what he generally needs. And we give him back that little bit of class, but he, he, he just gives it 100 percent every time he goes around. And I did say three years ago he's the sort of horse that can win an opening plate, but I didn't think it, at seven that I'd be running him in it. So um, uh, yeah, we, we can't fault him. He's had a, a, a great month in between his last run. Now, Booker, the three-year-old filly, she's already a Group 2 winner herself. An impressive winner, I thought, uh, at Caulfield in, when controlling the race. So, 1,200, back to 11. Barry, 16, but a uh, great opportunity for young Benny Thompson with 51 and a half. Yeah, look, she's, uh, you know, she's, as we know, we've got a fantastic opinion of her and a terrific win the other day. Um, we're just going to keep it in the sprints and it just look a great option for her. Uh, her best runs have been at Caulfield. And I'm just drawn a fraction wide, so... Probably going to need a little bit of luck early. I'm happy to be three deep with cover and come out and have one, one go. And look, she's definitely got the class to win it. Now, uh, trap question, of course. Who have you marked on top out of the four? Look, I can't probably fault Flamberg's uh, preparation and and uh, his run the other day and the improvement. That's what that's probably got our eye more than anything. And uh, those old old green campaigners, they're always hard to get past. So probably him on top, probably then Booker and then uh, you know and then the other two without. Uh, with a little sneaky chance and the you know, Oakley plays is sort of racing and run 18 times and get 18 different winners so um, you know, just you've got to be in it to win it and I, I think we've got some nice chances.